What is going on, buddy? Welcome back here today to a, for some reason, a highly suggested, requested, recommended video to do. And it is going to be a Taco Fall rebuild. Now, I kind of knew who Taco Fall was before people were requesting this. I mean, the dude's name is Taco, and he's also 7'6", so he does stand out a little bit. So we are going to be doing... A rebuild around him today to please you guys. Uh, I did choose the Orlando Magic because he goes to school at UCF, which is in Orlando. So I thought of the correlation there, but then I did forget. We already have two centers on our team that are starter and cal caliber um, in Mo Bamba and Nikola Vucevic. So Vucevic is probably going to walk and Mo Bamba will either go to the bench or get traded. Because I do have to win a title with taco fall in the starting lineup so i also appreciate the support on yesterday's video on the trading lebron rebuild i'm trying to make my editing a little bit better i'm still nowhere good at all but i'm gonna hopefully consistently improve also tomorrow's rebuild was supposed to be a realistic heat rebuild but i apologize heat fans i'm gonna push that back a little bit till during the week and i am gonna be doing a jimmer for debt suns rebuild tomorrow so that's gonna be really fun uh somebody requested it on my lebron rebuild my trading lebron rebuild i think it was dante with the question mark at the end of it so i did simulate a season because start today is still broken we go 34 and 48 but no i am not taking taco fall with my first round pick i could probably get him in the second round let me just make sure this dude is a prospect here because that would be really embarrassing if i couldn't even draft this dude in this draft class okay where is taco fall are, you, are we serious right now hold on okay we have a problem taco fall is in the 20 20 draft class and he's already 24 so that means he's gonna be like 26 when we do this or he's gonna be 25 so we are gonna just do it with the 2019 draft class and taco fall is gonna come in next year but i'll kind of show you guys the team this year so taco fall won't be put into the starting lineup until next year's draft so i can get maybe a year off without him so we're gonna keep steve clifford for now this is a fantasy style rebuild we'll sign randy martin sure so nba draft we are looking for a point guard i mean we do have Fultz, but i don't know if he's the answer here in orlando Darius Garland, I doubt Ja Morant is going to fall here. Yeah, he went number one in the draft. Uh, Kobe White just went. Um, Could have drafted him, but he goes to Chicago. So I'm going to go Darius Garland out of Vanderbilt. So we're not going to be good next year either. And you know what? Since uh, Taco Fall is going to be coming in the draft next year, no matter where we end up next year, he'll be my first pick in the draft. So if we somehow get the number one overall pick in the draft, I will draft Taco Fall. So team player options, obviously we're going to bring back Isaac, Wesley, Wundu, uh, yeah, I'm going to move on from Wesley because we really don't need I mean, he's really not that good. All these guys can go. It's going to be different here in Orlando. We've been mediocre for too long, or they've been mediocre for too long. Really haven't done anything since Dwight Howard uh, got traded out of here. So currently we have one, two. Um, yeah, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, this is an interesting team. I'm not going to really sign anybody big. Oh, but I kind of want Vucevic back. You know what? I'm going to bring Vucevic back for a one-year deal. Um, worth, you know what? A two-year deal because I can use him as a trade asset next offseason. That's what I'm going to do. All right. So we're going to sign him there. And then we're going to get another shooting guard slash small forward. Uh, probably small forward. Kelly Oubre would be kind of cool. Um, Gerald Green, Daniel House, Jake Lehman, Trevor Ariza. We'll sign Mello to a one-year deal. So we're going to get Vucevic and Melo, and I'll see you guys at training camps. Oh, also, you guys request so many rebuilds, and I'm gonna, I am read every comment. Like, I see people requesting, like, a John Morant pacer. I just see, like, LeBron James Jr. rebuilds. I'm going to get to these. Like, I don't know about the John Morant pacer one, but I do plan on doing a lot of rebuilds. Don't worry. Like, I'm going to probably stick with my schedule. It's five to six a week. So I'm sorry if I don't do yours, but I just see there's so many comments. I get 200 plus of rebuild suggestions, and I kind of try to do the ones that get the most likes because that means kind of like everybody kind of fucks with that rebuild and wants to see it. So I'm going to be doing those more. So I do apologize if I don't do your outlandish, I don't know, Chris Middleton Orlando Magic rebuild. I'm sorry. But for untapped potential, we are going to send our new point guard in Darius Garland. He might end up being the starter over Fultz. We are going to send Bamba and Isaac to the other two untapped potentials. Um, and I do forget we have Aaron Gordon. And then we're going to be adding the superstar of the video next offseason. He'll be making his grand debut. So, for our coaching, we're going to go Fultz, 48, Isaac, Gordon, Vucevic, Bamba. We'll get 26. A lot. Melo, no. I accidentally sent Melo to a two-year deal, so I'm going to have to worry about trading him next offseason. So, we're going to go 26, though, to Garland and Bamba. Melo is going to get 15. Augustine, sure, is going to get like eight uh Mozgov, yeah you know what screw you i'm not even gonna play with bj washington i guess not either so isaac i would like to give let's swap these um 
Fournier is good at 20. We'll go 27. Fultz will go 31. Uh, Vucevic will go 34. And then can we go 34 to these guys? Cool. And then I'll go 28, 28, 16. Uh, first scoring option is going to be Vooch. Second will be Gordon. Third will be, I don't know. We'll see what Isaac can do if he's the third. Um, I don't really care about system proficiency. We're not going to be that good anyway this year. And we'll get the, uh, the much-awaited debut of the taco fall in this next off season. So for some reason, this magic team did pretty well. So I'm actually just happy. I don't have to take taco fall with the fifth pick. I could do it with whatever the 18th or 19th pick in this upcoming draft. I don't think we're going to take how many awards we don't. And I don't think we're going to be on any all NBA teams. Yeah, nothing, nothing. Did we get Garland on maybe all rookie second team if he wants to pop up? There we go. Uh, so he averaged 11 and 6, uh, 5.8. So that's pretty good. And we are going to be taking on the Boston Celtics in round one. And I'm probably expecting a five game series or maybe six games. Gordon and Vucevic played pretty well. Isaac, not bad. And then there's 48 faults. Garland, we'll probably get to choose between one of them. I might trade faults in the offseason. We'll see. And then we have Bamba. Melo, who I'm going to have to trade because I accidentally gave him a two-year deal. Not a one-year deal because when I gave him the one-year deal, it said, like, we don't have enough money. And then I went back and I did a two-year deal instead. So we're actually tied 2-2 two to two with Boston. 3-2. to two. Can we come back? Losing six, as expected. So the Sixers win it all. Shout out to Kevin Hart. And we are going to advance here to the offseason. I forgot to turn league meetings off. I don't need any of these. Oh my god, that's the worst one. Change it to 30 seconds. So like the highest point per game player can just average 18 points a game. I'd rather honestly watch paint dry. I'd rather watch my Knicks play like every game for the rest of their lives with this exact roster than probably have that happen to the NBA. Alright, so we are going to be sitting at 22. So I swear if Taco Fall goes above 22 and I'm going to have to make a trade for him. I'll be quite upset. So let's go here to the NBA draft. Let's simulate to our next pick. Watch this be like an auto-generated draft class, and I really screwed myself here. But it is not. And Taco Fall, where are you? Welcome to the team. This man is 7'6". Like, I don't know if you guys saw the uh, photo. There was a photo on Twitter of some reporter, and she was standing next to him. I don't know exactly how tall she was, but she had to be around my height, and I'm 5'8". And Taco Fall is 7'6". This man is almost two feet bigger than me. This is absurd. I think he would be the tallest player. No, no, Manute Bull was 7'7", seven, seven, right? I think Bull Bull was 7'4", or 7'5". This man is 7'6", and just because of that, he's going to get drafted. Um, he's obviously going to be our starting center, like I said. So I'm going to move on from Vucevic. Bamba will be our backup. And we do need a two guard, or we do need a two, um, a shooting guard. So what can I get for Vucevic of 48? That's like 42 mil up there. So I don't know what we can get that's actually like useful. DeMarcus Cousins... I would do that, but we have our untouchable here, and he's already 24. People go come to the NBA 18, and this man is 24. He better average double-digit rebounds for us. Jaron Jackson Jr. would be cool, but I don't really need forwards. I mean, young, this is a sick trade, but, like, we have Garland. I need a shooting guard or a small forward. Rudy Gobert, Moody A, Hardaway. Russell is actually interesting, and move him to the over depot. This is actually not a terrible trade, because then Turner would just replace Bamba. Um, I might do that. Could get DeRozan. Uh, we could get McComb and Nurkic. I actually kind of like this one as well. But I might flip Nurkic. So I haven't gotten McComb in a minute. It gets me into the mellow contract. But I am going to end up trading Nurkic. We had him in yesterday's video. And we have the person that his parents, I guess, listen to Sheck West a lot. And they named his son Mo Bamba after it, which is kind of weird. I don't really think I would name my son after a rap song. Especially you guys too. But eh, maybe their parents are just, it's a rap like that. So we are going to move Nurkic. For a, I mean, since we kind of have a score in McCollum, I kind of want to move Fultz as well. Like, what could I get for Gordon and Fultz? And then maybe move Nurkic for something? I don't know, like a small forward. But small forwards in, like, 2K, kind of hard to find, like, really good. Like, that's really good. I would love De'Aaron Fox. But I want to give Garland a shot is the thing. Okay, what about if we did Gordon and Nurkic? Now, this is two... Not all-stars, but, like, above-average NBA players. Gordon Hayward is really the best small forward I'm going to get. Like, Colbert is cool, but we have Taco Fall. Blake not playing small forward. DeRozan? You know what? I might do that trade. It would be Gordon, Nurkic, and my first next year for James Wiseman and DeRozan. And you know what? I'm going to do this trade. 
Uh, DeRozan will be our small forward. So we're going to have a Garland, McCollum, DeRozan, Isaac, Taco Falls starting five. Uh, do I have nine guys to play? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I need a backup forward. But you know what? I'll actually get PJ Washington from Kentucky some minutes. All right, so we're going to advance to training camps. Obviously, we got to send Taco Fall to untap potential because... This man's a, what, 64 overall, 67 overall at the age of 24. Not much time left for improvement for him. So, yeah. We're going to send him to untap potential for the time being. Pretty much every year. So, where is he at? Oh, my God. He's all the way down here. He's our lowest overall. He's got B- minus potential now. Uh, we are going to send it. Like, Wiseman's pretty good as well. I'm going to send it to Garland, though. And then I'm going to wrap it off with a Jonathan Isaac. So, Fultz. Oh, crap. Is he going to be a free agent next year? Oh, maybe we'll do a sign and trade when that time comes. So, and then I'm going to wrap it off with Isaac. So, first scoring option is pro Should I make Taco Fall like the first scoring option? I might. And just see how we do. So, coaching. All right. Taco Fall is obviously going to be on the reserves. We're going to have to change that. We have three centers on the roster getting minutes, which is also probably not ideal. But we'll make it work. So, Taco Fall, get your ass into the lineup. Um, Wayne Ellington. Sorry, but I want to give P.J. Washington some minutes over you. So, let's see. P.J. Washington, you can get 10 a night. I think that seems fair for you. Let's see. 2K, you want to take forever? Actually, I'll just make the rotation. So, here's how the rotation is going to go. We got Garland 33, 34 for a 2, 3, and 4. And then we got 32 to Taco. <laughs> Taco. Um, whenever I say that, it just reminds me of Taco from the league. Go show if you've seen it. Um, definitely recommend it. It's hilarious. So, we have Mo Bamba. Fultz, Wiseman, and P.J. Washington off the bench. A couple Kentucky boys in Washington. No, Wiseman's from Memphis, so um, ignore that. So first scoring option is going to be McCollum. Second will be DeRozan. Third will be Fall. Um, I'm not going to make Fall the number one. Hopefully Fall's uh, rebounding is all right. Now Steve Clifford is a pace and space guy, but we are going to go to balance. All right, so I'm going to change it to balance, and then our power ranking we were, what, the seventh seed last year. Hopefully, we can make the playoffs again. Taco! God damn it. We go 33 and 49. So, I guess maybe the experiment just needs to get some getting used to, I guess, because 33 and 49 is not good. I know McCollum had a really good year, and I think DeRozan is going to get traded in the offseason. Um, and we're going to have assets. We have Wiseman. We have DeRozan. Do we still have Bamba? I think we have Bamba. Like, we have loads of assets to move, and we are going to get nobody here. Um, did Taco make all rookie second team? Yes, Taco! So Taco had 9.7, 7.7. Not great. He actually shot 38% from three. How many threes did he attempt? 13, okay. But he made five of them, which is pretty solid. So, you know what? Good rookie year for Taco. Now, we didn't make the playoffs, so we're also going to have a high draft pick. We're going to have loads of assets going into this offseason. See, like, Nicole was pretty solid. DeRozan, I think I'm going to move him just because he's getting paid a lot of money. Garland was pretty solid, and then there's Fultz, Fall, Bamba, Isaac, Wiseman, and then we're going to probably have a better bench, like, nine spot than P.J. Washington. All right, so the Hornets and Hawks are in the conference finals, and Blazers and Rockets are also in the conference finals. Who did we give up for McCollum? Wasn't it, like, Fournier and Vucevic? So... I guess they're doing pretty good. And the Rockets beat the Hornets at five. The Hornets were the one seed, which is quite interesting. Uh, no, I don't want any league meetings. Let me uh, reject all these. I forgot to turn it off again. So, Water, you want to give me some luck here? We are the projected. I don't have my first top pick. I forgot I came in the DeRozan trade. Oh, so we was out on the eighth pick. I completely forgot. That was so stupid. I should have traded traded the 2022 pick. All right. I'm sorry, but we have Taco Fall at starting center. I need the best coach we can get. And a very good assistant coach as well. So hopefully we can land both these guys. And we do. Bada bing, bada boom. And if you actually go back a little bit, you rewind that. I'm pretty sure our assistant coach looked exactly like our assistant GM. Which was pretty, I don't know, weird. So DeRozan and Wiseman, both are on the market here. We can pick up Jalen Brown, who, 2K, not worth 27 mil. Cousins, is it easy to trade for Cousins now? I mean, I, it's cool, but I just don't need a center. Brogdon, uh, uh. Uh, Heald, Moutier, Ingram, how's he doing? Yeah, not worth it. Drummond, Drummond and Sabonis is a pretty cool offer, but I don't need big men. Ugh, I can't. Okay, we're doing the shame. Oh my god, yes. Alright, so we found our small forward in Clay Thompson. We're obviously going to move him there. Now, we also have Draymond. 
hey, he's just going to replace P.J. Washington. So that is an upgrade if I've ever seen one. So let's go to team player options here. And let's see. We're going to bring back Bamba. We're going to bring back Garland. We're going to bring back Reset. I know Isaac and Fultz are going to be restricted free agents, which is kind of tough. Um, Frazier, no. But I might end up moving Fultz. We'll see. But, I mean, we do have McCollum, Clay. I mean, Isaac, we can look for a power forward upgrade, but I think we're actually pretty solid. So Fultz could just be our backup point guard, and we can just have a baller bench because we kind of need it. We have a 69 overall, 25-year-old center. So, oh, my God, McCollum's a Frazier, too. Yeah, take all my money, McCollum. You were really good last year. All right. So he's restricted. He's restricted. I didn't give Frazier a deal, so I'm going to renounce the rights on him. Uh, Fultz, let's not renounce the rights. Or Isaac. I don't know why anybody would do that, so... Uh, let's advance. We do get McCollum on basically a 30 mil a year extension. Um, not going to read out the rights on these two, so I don't know why they're doing that. Foles has a $24 million cap hold. Sheesh. Vucevic going to go back to the Blazers. Wow. None of them got a deal from any team. That's kind of sad. That's kind of sad that none of them got deals from teams. And I'm just going to have to offer them deals. I'll wait one more day. Damn. All right. So we're going to sign Isaac. We're going to sign Fultz. And then I'm going to most likely trade... I don't know. Do I want to move Isaac? I mean, we could start Draymond over Isaac. Basically, not like the same player, but they're kind of similar molds. I mean, Isaac's definitely more athletic, but Draymond's definitely a better player. But Draymond is, could be 32 at this point, 31. If I move him to small forward, he goes up to an 86. So, I mean, we could have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I need one more player. Uh, we could get a shooting guard. Or, no, we can get a power forward. No, we have Isaac. Uh, I'll take a shooting guard or a small forward. Redick would be interesting, so I'm going to offer Redick. In. We can't afford Redick, but he's on my affordables. Huh? Oh, all right. So we're going to sign Redick. I'll see you guys at trading camps. All right, so we're at trading camps. We have three end time potentials. Again, you know Taco Fall is getting one of them. He's up to a B now, which is all right. It's not good, but it's not horrendous like he started with a C plus. And then I'm going to send Garland, and then we're probably going to wrap it up. I don't know. Um, Garland... I mean, I could send Fultz or Isaac. We'll see what Fultz is. All right, so he'd be an A. I like, obviously could trade Fultz. I don't know what his trade value would be right now. Um, I'm trying to think. They actually want to start Isaac over Draymond. All right, so Fultz has three stars. I mean, I can pick up a Warren Market in and play him at the four. You know what? I'm probably just going to keep him. Yeah, I think I'm just going to keep him for this year. So, let's see the Roto or the Rote, the rotation. And it is going to be Garland McCall. Okay. They want to go Isaac over Green. But I think I'm just going to play them each 30. Uh, we're going to go 28. And I, I do want to start Draymond. All right. So we're going to go 28 and 30. Bamba is not starting, unfortunately. He's going to get 21 minutes a night. Fultz is going to go like 23. Um, Taco Fall is probably not even going to be. Okay. Yeah, we got to get Taco Fall up here. All right. So we're going to go give 32 to Garland. 34 to our two probably best players on the wing. 30 to Green. 31 to Fall. 27 to Isaac. 22 to Fultz. 21 to Baba. And 9 to JJ Redick. First scoring option will be McCollum. Second will be Clay. Third will be Garland. I'm going to do it over Taco Fall. Probably the best option. Okay. I mean, our comments is at number two. Spears at number two. Tuki Sports at 18. That's still pretty solid. Assistant proficiency is still the way to go. I mean, his balance still the way to go. And it looks like it is. Only three stars. So that's really not that good. Taco, you're holding this down. So I'll see you guys at the end of the season number two or three or whatever year this is. And hopefully we make the playoffs this time. All right. Some improvement. We go 44 and 38. I think that's like 11 more wins this year than last year. I forgot how many, when we, how many we got last year. John Morant, MVP in year three for the Pistons. Obviously, everybody's watching their first John Morant game because there's some casual watchers out there that didn't watch them throughout the regular season and they're like, oh my god, the John Morant guy's good. Yeah, we've been know that, but you just decided to watch during the tournament. I mean, I don't blame you. I mean, who wants to watch the Murray State, whatever they are, on a Tuesday night against some random Ohio Valley or Mac, Mac wherever they're, what conference they're in team. So we got zero awards. That's not that good. We are the sixth seed taking on the three-seeded Brooklyn Nets. They have Devo Barrett, okay, Jaden McDaniels, Jalen Smith, Jared Allen. That's a good team. Um, and we, are, how many more games did they win than us, though? Yeah, we won what 44, they got 49, so five more for season stats. We'll check out our player stats McCollum 23, Clay 22, Garland 19.8 and 6. I'll take it. Uh, there's Fultz off the bench, Bamba. Isaac Draymond. Oh my god, when we don't make fall a scoring option, he had five points, nine rebounds, two blocks a game. 
You know what? That's not horrendous. I'll actually, like, that's doable. And then there's Reddick's numbers. Team stats, points per game, we sit at, ooh, 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 21. And allowed, we are at fourth. Okay, so we are pretty good defensively. And point differential puts us at eighth. So can we get a round one upset? That'd be really cool, 2K. We win game one, lose game two, win game three, win, uh, lose game four, win game five. Can we win game six? Let's go. We're going on to the second round to take on the reigning NBA champion Sixers. So Clay drops us just a casual 49 here in game six in OT. That is what I'm talking about. Uh, what is Taco doing in the playoffs? That's JJ. Taco is averaging only seven boards, but over two blocks though. There, and then there's Draymond. So round two against Philly. Well, tell me they signed Durant. No, okay, good. They have Paul Millsap. We win game one by four on the road. McCollum drops 31, Clay 20. Good defense by Taco on Embiid. He only had five rebounds though. Uh, no blocks either, great. Game two, pick up the L, unfortunately. We lose by 20. Oh, that hurts. All right, game three, first game in Orlando. We lose by a lot. Game four, come on, come on, come on. Damn, all right, we're pro we lost by one point. Can we win game, what is this, five? Pacers win it all. They have KD, he is your finals MVP. So I don't really know what I want to do with this team. I mean, maybe upgrade the four spot with the, maybe another score, like to compliment Taco. But like, we have to roll with Taco. I can, oh my God, Bomb is going to be a free agent too. All right, like we have a really good coach. And, like, assistant coach. So, like, that's not, obviously, something to worry about. Let's go to the NBA draft. Let's see who I can move. Like, maybe I could package Draymond and Isaac for something special. Like, I don't know. We'll see. I can trade them both now. Isaiah Jackson and Adams. Shield. Levert. Turner and Sabonis. I mean, no. Uh -uh. Like, I would want one of, like, the better power forwards. But there's not many to get. Like, KP is basically untouchable in this game. Like, Jared Jackson Jr. would be cool. But I... Yeah, he's a free agent as well. Crap. Uh, so we can go to team player options, and we'll just... Maybe we'll keep the team the same, and we'll just hope for an improvement from Garland. But Clay's 32, Draymond's 32, McCollum is 30. Oh, Obama's got a team option? Interesting. I'm surprised he's not a restricted free agent right now. Because, yeah, Fultz was one last year, and Fultz was the... That's weird. All right, so Fall, welcome back. Garland. I'm surprised Bamba. Maybe it's because he's a bench. I'm confused. So... Like, what free agent? Um, yeah, I'm really confused on why the 2017 draft class isn't free agents. O'Shea Brissett, former Syracuse Orange. He was actually really good in my 20, 2K18 rebuilds because he was actually kind of like a high prospect for some reason. No, I'm like, Lucas here. I guess we got really lucky with getting Bamba back on a uh, qual or on a team option deal, which is weird. Maybe it's because he doesn't start. Um, that's the only thing I can think of. So, JJ Redick is a free agent. Now, uh, it's like the ninth spot. And the rotation so like do we have somebody that can get like those eight minutes a game let me see i mean there's no injuries on i could really just run an eight-man rotation which is just like some houston rocket stuff so we have one two three four five six seven eight okay um let's add just like the best possible big man scale this year welcome to the squad all right so last this might be the final year so taco fall up to b plus potential we're gonna send garland as well he's damn he stayed in a and then we'll send like Isaac. Isaac will probably start at the four this year. So let's advance to this next season. And I think we could like, this is a good enough team to win a title. Like I honestly do, even with Taco Fall starting. But we just kind of need to get lucky kind of where our playoff seating is and stuff like that. So we're going to have Garland McCollum. Ta oh my God, and Fall is going to be down here again. Like the, I'm obviously playing the dude. Like you stop putting him in the reserve list. Uh, so we are going to give, all right. So Scallop is here is going to get 10. Let's go immediately give this 17 a fall. Like, I mean, I could only give fall 17 and still start him. But no, nah, we're going to... Uh, no, nah, I want to win with him getting like 30 minutes a night. So, Draymond's going to get 21. Fultz is going to get 23. Bauman's going to get 25. All right, so let's do this. And then let's give fall 31. Let's give Isaac 32. Clay 34. All right, well, we have a minute problem now. Um, All right, Draymond 29 there, 22 there. Uh, let's go 34. Um, now yeah, let's go 33, 34. All right, so these are how the scoring options are going to go. 
Um, is there a better system proficiency? Did I even do one last year? Any four-star system proficiencies? Damn. So balance is the best option. I'll see you guys at the end of the year, and hopefully we can make a run. So we go 52 and 30, which is actually good for once, which could maybe give us a top three seed. I wonder who Houston is starting a point right now that Chris Paul is coming off the bench. We don't get coach of the year, but that was kind of understandable. The Nets might have been the one seed. Evan Mobley gets on this list, but we can't get anybody. I mean, I guess our best positions are like guard players, like Clay, even though he's a forward, but like Clay and CJ, and usually those are the hardest to make is the guard spots in the all NBA teams. So we have no defensive players. Nice. So that means we ended up with no awards, but we are the four seed. Oh, it's so for like the two or the three. Oh, we were just one game out as well. So we're taking on the Hawks in round one. Who have LaMelo over Trey? Oh, what are you doing? But that's, this is kind of like a Loki fire team. Whiteside, oh my god, we might lose. And they sell the Bull Bull. Uh, they got Kobe Simmons, okay. Wow, we might lose in round one. Great. Player stats, McCollum, Beast, Garland, Stud, Clay still doing Clay things. What is she from downtown? 47%, jeez. And then there's Fultz, Bombo with a double-double, Isaac 10 and 9, Obisier, Ty oh my god, Draymond, Draymond is so bad now, bro. Taco doing taco stuff, um, 1.6 blocks, damn, he actually was pretty solid last year. So if we go over to team stats, points per game, uh, still not that good, 15th. Our defense though was good, best in the NBA, and fifth in point differential. So like Isaac, Clay, I guess Taco Fall, Bamba, Draymond, we have good defenders on this team. So round one against Atlanta, oh my god, we lost game one. Game two we win, game three we lose, are you kidding me? Two, two, please win three, please go three to two. Thank you, come on, win in six, win in six. Oh, are you kidding me, we're going to a game seven. This is just round one. Oh my god, the Hornets just upset uh, the uh, Nets. All right, we're at home, win this game, please. Please. Oh my god, we're gonna lose this game. We're gonna lose this game. Oh my god, we're gonna see what you guys are doing to me. You're making my blood pro Oh my god, okay. This is for all for Taco Fall. Alright. Next year is the final year. We're gonna do a new strategy though. Taco Fall will start, but he's not playing more than 25 minutes a night. Baba is gonna get more minutes. So the Rockets win it all. They beat the Pacers in five. So um one more offseason. I might move Draymond. I mean, I feel like he's just not even good to have on the team anymore because he's that bad. So I might move Draymond. Oh, he's making so much money, though. Uh, we'll figure it out. So I'm going to give this guy a decent amount of money, become our GM. Um, now let's go to the NBA draft where I'm going to probably trade Draymond if he's still under contract. Um, Jesus. he's Okay, so he's a free agent. Now, that kind of opens the discussion. Do I want to keep him or do I want to move on? I might do like a sign and trade, like sign him and then trade him. Um, yeah, in case you didn't know what a sign and trade was, does I don't know why I explained that. Obviously, you guys all know what that means. So, Bamba and Garland. Bamba's okay, now Bamba's a restricted free agent. So, that's two more max deals we're gonna have to do on top of Draymond's deal. Oh my god, uh, all right, Zion's a free agent. John Collins is an unrestricted free agent, but not many teams would have cap. Um, Tobias Love, pretty good. Oh my god, marketing's unrestricted. Pretty good power forward market, which is like never a thing. So Garland and Bamba are restricted, so I don't care for them. And then Draymond, 12 mil a year is not bad if he's like our ninth fan in a rotation. All right, so we're going to get Draymond. We're going to renunciate some Bullock, Gibson, Del Dodova, and Etuan Moore. We'll wait to see if Garland or Bamba get offers, but like nobody has cap space this far into 2K. So like I don't think nobody's going to be giving them money. Uh, just kidding. The Nets try to get Bamba, so we're going to give them a four-year deal. Um, and is Garland going to get a deal? Doesn't look like it, so I'll sign Garland myself. Um, wait, did that just say Barrett's unrestricted? Oh my god. Oh my god. Who's done with them? Brooklyn. Alright, maybe it'll make the East a little easier. So I'm going to sign Garland, and I'll pro I think I might have to sign. Oh, hey, Garland, are you going to accept my five year deal? Thank you. Barrett, you want to come here on a one year deal worth six mil? Damn. Um, Marketing, you want to do the same? Damn. All right. Uh, I'll see you guys at training camp. All right. Final season. That means, wow, we only have one more training. We only have one training camp. That's beat. All right. So, Taco Fall. Did that just say he's a 61 overall? What? How is he not in the 70s by now? How? I mean, he's like 28 years old. Is he really? Did that actually say he's a 61? Because if he's a 61, then we have a problem that he just went down in overall. Oh, my God. What was he? Wasn't he like a 65 last year? All right. Well, we got to get him here in the rotation. Um, JT Thor. Interesting. You know what? I'm going to play this guy over Scal. 
Um, actually, yeah, Scout's not going to get minutes. Draymond's going to get 10. This guy's going to get 14. Um, and then let's move fall in this rotation. All right, so. All right, so here's our rotation. We got 35 to these guys, 32, 23 to fall, 26, 30. So we'll switch them. And then JT Thor at 14 and Draymond 10. Well, I should go Draymond 14, him 10. Because Draymond's still, I think, okay defense. So one, two, three. This is the last year. Come on. Number one team according to NBA.com. I need to get Taco a ring. All right. We ended with a 50-32 record, which is two less wins. And I have to, I have to admit something. We were 8-12 and 12 at one point. So I moved Taco Fall to the bench. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I had to do it, guys. He was just making us so much worse. Um, so all me second team, all me third team. Once again, no magic throughout this video. So we are the two seed, which is the highest seed we've ever been. Miami is the one seed. Shout out to Florida. Uh, also, the that Florida meme is so funny when you Google your birthday with, um, or you Google Florida man, and then my birthday is October first. I did October first, and like mine was like man shoots cat with a crossbow. And I was like, there's there's so many funny ones if you do those. Uh, so we're taking on the Bulls in round one. Okay, not really that good of a team. So. We'll see how good they are. Garland, stud. McCollum, stud. Clay, still doing Clay things. Fultz off the bench. Bamba. Yeah, we could have got this out of a 90 overall, but I chose to start Taco Fall. Isaac, good stuff. JC Thor, Draymond. And there's the lone Taco Fall. Still had over a block a game, though. He played, let's see, 21 minutes a game. I'm sorry, guys, but I had to. I had to dip his minutes down. So points per game, we still weren't that good. 22nd. Ugh. Um, allowed we were first again in six and point differential. So let's hope our defense can carry us to maybe the conference fine. I just want to make it out of round one. We're up 2 0, 2 to 1. Please go up 3 to 1. Do not. Oh, oh my god, they tied it up. I'm actually going to bug out if we lose in round one again. Don't. Don't do this to me. <sighs> Ooh, okay. Taking on the Pacers. You have. Oh my god. Oh my god. Gawinari Hachimura. Oh, Depot, Turner, Drum, and Katie. You're kidding me. There's no shot we beat this team. There is no shot we beat this team. Oh, my God. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Okay, we win a game. We win by 10. Bobo with 25 boards. All right, game three. Come on, win this. Damn it. Oh, we lost by five. If we don't win this game, it's over. It's over. Come on. Yes, we're staying alive. Game five should be in Orlando. And... Yes, we're up. All right, game six. Come on. Oh, my God. Bob, I love you. Garland, I love you. Clay, McCollum, Fultz. Good stuff. Isaac, Taco. Game six. Come on. Okay, game seven. Last time I did Simcast, it didn't end well. Please. I'm going to open my eyes when this game is over. I swear. Please tell me we won. Taco! 